I'm Richard Knudsen. I'm the president of the Information Management Group. We're a Chicago-based training and consulting firm that specializes in SharePoint and Dynamic CRM. Now, Dynamic CRM 4.0 was released in December of 2007, and it has a lot of significant advance, um, enhancements over the 3.0 version. One big area of improvement in particular is in a function called Advanced Find, which was available in 3.0 and we used to create custom views of the data in our CRM system. Basically, you can use Advanced Find to create custom filter criteria so you can search through data and return only the rows meeting certain criteria. And you can select and customize which columns display in the view. Now, a little bit of background here. Data in Dynamic CRM are stored in entities such as contacts, opportunities, accounts, and leads. And the platform gives you very powerful capabilities for creating relationships between those entities. For example, there's a built-in one-to-many relationship between contacts and opportunities so that for each contact in our CRM database, I can see all the opportunities for that contact and the various stages of the sales cycle that each one is in. So, suppose I want to create a custom view of my organization's opportunities and get a look at all the opportunities created in the last month. Here I'm in my demo CRM system and I'm in the sales area and I can select one of these entities. I might be on contacts or opportunities or accounts. If I go into advanced find, this is a convenient new feature of the 4.0 version of advanced find, that I can be in the advanced find user interface and I can pretty much start from anywhere and then I can select the specific entity that I want to be the primary entity within the current view that I'm constructing. So I just selected the opportunities entity and I said that what I wanted to do was to get a look at all of the opportunities that were created within the last month. So I choose the created on column and we have this built-in interface here with lots of very easy to use filtering criteria appropriate for this date field that we've currently selected. So I'll select within the last month and if I click the find button here you'll see that I get about four columns returned by default topic customer revenue and the status reason where this basically where the opportunity is in the sales cycle now I'll note here that all of these columns are from the opportunity entity and in 3.0 even though I could filter on columns from different entities from related entities to the opportunities entity here you could never display within advanced find views columns from different entities. Now, why might you want to do that? Well, suppose I want to see, I mentioned that there was a one-to-many relationship between, say, contacts or accounts and opportunities. Suppose I want to see for each account all of the opportunities I have and display some information about the account. Or in particular here, suppose I want to see more information than just the name of the contact for each of these opportunities, such as the, their parent customer or their email address. What I can do in four that I couldn't do in three, choose this edit columns capability and now I can add columns to this view from different entities. So there are entities that are related to opportunities in particular. There's the contact entity which I mentioned we have a one-to-many relationship between contacts and opportunities. So I pull down this record type and choose the contact entity here and now what we get in 4.0 is we have exposed all of the columns so, or the so-called attributes from the contact entity. So if I scroll down far enough here and I'll see the full name value, I can select the name of the um, contact or better yet, let's choose email. I have to find it. There's the email. And let's choose the parent customer because now we'll not only see the person's name, we'll also see their email address and we'll see the parent customer. And let's move these over to the left. I can use this interface up here to arrange these. And so there is the parent customer, there's the email address and let's move the name of the contact, that's the potential customer, I'll explain that in a second, all the way over to the left. And now if I click OK and click Find, what you'll see here is something that you could not do 
in CRM 3.0 without doing something like writing a reporting services report using Visual Studio. So here I've got the information that we started with from the opportunity entity. Remember we had potential customer which is the name of the contact. We had that. We had topic. We had estimated revenue and status. But we didn't have email and we didn't have the parent customer. And in 3.0 we couldn't have displayed those because these columns come from a different entity. It's related to this. It's the contact entity that's related to this. I could filter on them but I couldn't display them. So I could spend a little bit of time fixing this up if I double click for instance uh, if I go back to the query interface and I choose edit columns I could double click for instance on one of the column headers and tweak it a little bit. I'll give this a different width. I'll make that big enough to display the entire email address and I'll make the parent customer. The account name might be a little bit longer so I can do that. Click OK. Now I'll click find and I could configure the default sort order. So let's go back to the query, choose edit columns, and we will configure the sort order. You'll see here in a second. Configure sorting. Let's make this go by the potential customer and let's make that in ascending order. So now it'll be sorted by the name of the responsible contact for each of these opportunities that you see here. And last but not least, if I go back to the query, I could now save this. Let's do a save as. And we'll give this a new name, Opportunities by Accounts. And we'll save that. And now I could reuse this in lots of different contexts. And uh, that will be a useful view to have so we have more information about this. So what we've shown in this short demonstration is how within the 4.0 advanced find functionality I can get more mileage out of that because now I can not only filter as we could in 3.0 on criteria from related records but in 4.0 I can actually include in the view columns of information from th those related entities. So this gives us a really rich array of possibilities that we can do with the uh, advanced find entity in Dynamics CRM 4.0.